Hello everybody, in this video I will show to you a really interesting supercapacitor which is here. So the design of this supercapacitor uh, is some symmetrical design which means that the positive and the negative electrode are made from the same materials. Uh, but what is really interesting on this supercapacitor is in the discharge stage this device have symmetrical uh, design and in the charging stage uh, this device have asymmetrical or battery like design but if you want you can also call this device a hybrid supercapacitor uh, and yeah actually now I will show to you how to make this supercapacitor so for the current collectors I will use two uh, graphite plates which I have here and uh, the active material is of course some activated carbon uh, so if you have some uh, activated carbon which have lower uh, conductivity uh, in this case you need to add a little bit of conductive additive for example some graphite uh, so into into 5 grams of activated carbon you add uh, 0 0.5 grams of uh, graphite and then you mix up with uh, some uh, some binder here I have some uh, PVA uh, and the electrolyte which I will use in that cell right now I will coat uh, the current collectors also will help if you have some uh, some high surface uh, activated carbon will be also really really great with higher uh, surface you will get also a little bit better capacity Okay, this will be enough. Uh, now I will dry these two electrodes uh, and then I will make a cell. So the electrodes are dry and now I will put some electrolyte on the top uh, that the electrolyte will soak into the active material. And uh, the electrolyte is two mole of zinc sulfate and 0 0.2 mole of manganese sulfate. Now you need to wait a little bit that the electrolyte will soak into the active material and then you put some separator on the top okay a little bit more of electrolyte and that's it so you see that structure i mean the design of this cell right now is like a supercapacitor 
uh, and now I will put this cell on the charge uh, and when this cell is charging the zinc will form on the negative electrode and the manganese will form on the positive electrode and then this design uh, will be like uh, manganese zinc battery Okay, the cell I charge for about 15 minutes uh, and now I will disconnect from my power supply and I will run my electronic load. So the supercapacitor is empty and right now I get the energy of 25 milliwatt hours and the runtime was 24 minutes on 50 milliamps load, which is in basic not bad, but you need to note that the first couple of cycles uh, the supercapacitor will form itself so with each cycle you will get better uh, capacity and yeah actually the supercapacitor is really really simple to make so in basic that's it on this one but now i will change this separator and this electrolyte with this one so i will soak this separator in this electrolyte and in basic i add some additive to the current electrolyte okay And now I will charge this device again and then I will see if I get some improvement. And the supercapacitor is discharged and you see that the working voltage is a little bit lower like previous. Uh, but on this one I get better energy. Uh, so the energy on this one is 37 milliwatt hours uh, on previous version i get 24 25 milliwatt hours uh, and the runtime on this one was 39 minutes uh, so i get a little bit lower voltage but definitely i get better energy actually you see that I only change uh, the electrolyte on this one uh, I mean I just add something uh, to the current electrolyte and I get this so the base electrolyte is of course 2 mole of zinc sulfate and 0.2 mole of uh, manganese sulfate uh, and I add a little bit of potassium permanganate. So in basic you can play a little bit with, with the concentration uh, of potassium permanganate in this electrolyte and you will see what you will get. If you experiment with the ratios of the electrolytes and so on, you can create better uh, better supercapacitor uh, like i do right now but uh, this project is just the idea how is this supercapacitor done uh, so guys that's it for now and we see us in the next video bye